Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, all right, I'm, uh, I'm not trying to brag, but I just wanna let everyone know that I, uh, I did not drink the entire time I was pregnant. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. I deserve that, uh, especially because it was the hardest four days of my life. Uh, but I did it. I did it. I got through it. Oh, where are my single ladies at? Why is that always the response when people ask that? Like, I'm a single lady. I've been a single lady for a very long time, and woo is never how it's felt. It has never felt that way. Like, you guys should get more honest time to answer that so you can just be like, hey, where are my single ladies at? Well, I'm here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, my friend said to come, I didn't want to. She was like, maybe you'll meet someone. And I've been here for like 10 minutes and I know I'm not going to, and I want to go home. Like, it should be a longer answer. It's never woo. You never, I've never been home alone on like a Friday night, eating Thai food, cleaning out the litter box, watching like my ninth law and order going, woo! Woo! Yes! My life! This is fantastic. Let me just text that guy. Hey, come over. Oh, I'm seeing someone. Woo! <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I, uh, I give money to Planned Parenthood. Uh, thank you. Thanks. I'm not trying to force my stuff on you. I'm just saying that's what I do. Uh, I, I like doing it because I don't, I'm kind of dumb. So I just, I like to give money to other people and say, I hope you do something with it because I am too stupid uh, and I can't fix things on my own. Uh, so I gave, how it worked is I gave a lady my credit card information. Some lady was standing outside of the grocery store. She had the Planned Parenthood t-shirt. I trusted her. I gave her all of my information. So what they do when you contribute in that way, uh, they take money out of your credit card statement every month. Uh, here's the problem. They don't write the word donation anywhere on your credit card statement. <laughs> anywhere. So it just looks like I spend money there every month. Like I'm a regular at Planned Parenthood. <laughs> I got like a VIP carpet, like later suckers. <laughs> I'm going out of the uh, Honestly, if you have a chance, never look at your credit card statement. <laughs> Don't ever do it. It is a mirror up to everything horrific about you that you don't want to know. It is, it just is. Uh, I had credit card fraud one time. A woman bought $5,000 in African jewelry on my credit card. And while that seems like an impulsive purchase I would have made, I didn't. <laughs> so I have to call the credit card company and, you know, I guess the process when you have fraud is that they read you your purchases and then you tell them whether or not you made them. <laughs> Until I had this conversation with this complete stranger, I was very much on the fence as to whether or not I was an alcoholic. <laughs> this woman on the phone starts reading my purchases it's all bars, all bars. Like, there was no sustenance, no food, no clothing, no nothing. Just bar. She's like, all right, at 7.52 p.m., did you spend $87 at the E Rustic bar? I said, I did, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. She's like, all right, at 9.15 p.m., did you spend $132 at uh, the drawing room bar? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, all right, at 12.15 a.m., did you spend uh, $38 at Jones Bar on 3rd? I said, I did, yeah. She's like, that's pretty far, did you drive? Yeah, you nosy whore, I drove. <laughs> she 
She's like, all right, the next day at uh, 1.15 p.m., did you have an abortion? No, I donate money. It's a donation. I'm a good person.